Hey, my dear friends, I am Maksud here from Attari Classes. I will be the instructor for your course AWS Solution Architect course at Attari Classes. AWS Solution Architect Associate course at Attari Classes. Now, my dear friends, today I am here to give you a basic idea, small idea about a very good service from Amazon known as S3. You might have gone through the previous videos about basic introduction about AWS cloud. What is EC2 and what is EBS and what is Amazon machine image? I hope that you might have gone through the previous videos, but today I'm here to explain you something about S3. Remember Amazon is using some shortcuts. What is three? You might be wondering what is three here? Okay, EC2 it stands for elastic compute cloud because compute and cloud C is available two times Amazon uses shortcut C2 EC2 <laughs> Okay, now Amazon says S3 is what simple storage Service my dear friend simple storage service Now when three time S is coming. So what Amazon is doing Amazon is using a shortcut S3 <laughs> Okay, you might have heard something about H2O. Everybody, whoever is watching my video, might be at, le at least a matriculation pass, 10 pass, 12 pass. <laughs> okay, by the way, most of the people who are watching these videos are into IT infra domain. Okay, by the way, H2O stands for water, no? hydrogen, two molecule, oxygen, the shortcut chemistry. Same chemistry is adopted by AWS. <laughs> okay, so by the way, as of now today by the way everybody knows what is s3 s3 stands for simple storage service but what is s3 still not clear why because i have not explained it <laughs> i am going to start now what is s3 my dear friends s3 is an object storage in my previous video about ebs i have explained you block storage what is block storage you can go through that video if you have not seen that video s3 is an object storage i will give you what is object See any file mp3 file or mp4 file or doc file or ppt file or notepad file txt file Any type of file is known as object Now there are many storage which are available as an object storage. I will give you some example Everybody might have gone through my dear friend everybody might have gone through they might have a Google account Gmail account very famous Google is very famous and Google is having one product Google Drive Microsoft is having a product one drive There are other products like Dropbox and so on and so on. What is happening if you create an account with Google? Microsoft or Dropbox You get a limited space free now 15 GB whatever it is right and now you can upload your documents Your PowerPoint files your audio files your video files you photos anything you can upload in Google the Answer is yes you can upload in OneDrive. You can upload in Dropbox. Answer is yes. Why you are uploading in Google Drive? You will say it's a cloud storage. My dear friends, I am also saying for personal people will use this thing. When you talk about S3, it is also a storage in cloud. <laughs> cloud means what? It is not kept in your home. It is not kept in your hard disk. It is kept on Google server, Microsoft server, Dropbox server. So remember when you upload any objects, any file, video, audio, PowerPoint, any file into your Google Drive, OneDrive, it is secure. It is available with uh, your the Google or Microsoft or Dropbox. The benefit is that if your computer is crashed, my dear friend, if your Hard disk is lost. Anything is lost. You are not in not to worry. Why? Because you have put the file on Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive or Dropbox. What is the benefit? These files are available on cloud in Google Data Center and Microsoft. You can download and get your files. You can retrieve your file. Same concept is S3. It is an object story. What happens in S3? I will take you to the Amazon console and give you some idea. This is the Amazon console how to create the free tier account how to uh, get here i will show you everything when you come for a classroom or an online training lecture wherever you whichever method you want you can go for that by the way once you log into amazon console you can see one service known as s3 simple storage service 
provides easy to use when i hover the mouse you can see some definition it is easy to use object storage to store and retrieve any amount of data you can keep one tb data you can keep pbs of data when i click on s3 there is an option available over here which is known as create a bucket so in s3 what is the logic i am having because i am using this s3 since long this is my account i am using already so i am having so many buckets but what is the concept over here in amazon cloud that whenever you want to upload the data whenever you want to upload the files and in s3 like google drive you upload the files in s3 if you want to upload the file the first step is create a bucket what is bucket bucket is just a logical container it's a container now after you create a bucket i am already having a bucket you can see over here when i click on this bucket now my dear friend i am having an option of upload like in google drive you have an option of upload create folder you can see create folder option is available upload folder is available you can click on the upload button you can say add a file you can go and upload the one file you can select one file and you can say upload that's upload is done upload has been done successfully can you see so my dear friend what is an s3 storage everybody got a crystal clear idea that s3 storage is an object storage i can say it is used by enterprise to keep the objects like files thousands and lakhs of files are available thousands and lakhs of photos and videos are available in corporate environment depending upon the business model there if it's a bank there are thousands of files lakhs of files where they will keep they can keep in s3 storage there are many options you can archive the files also many options are available we will discuss all the options in details s3 we will be performing live hands on practical you will be performing with the trainer not to worry okay we have multiple training option classroom training option online training option or video learning options if you are comfortable with classroom you can join classroom it is in mumbai if you are comfortable online practicals live practicals will be done not to worry online training you get the same feeling of classroom and if timings are not suitable or something or you want to go for a very fast track like you don't want to wait for one one and a half month then you can opt for video learning what is video learning where you get live class recorded lectures not only you get the lectures these are updated regularly and these are live class recording using these lectures you can do live practicals also everything it's as good as a classroom training but the most preferred method is classroom or online training if no option is available video learning is also good for those people who are habitual to learn using video learning and atari classes after watching this video you might have understood that you have seen multiple videos in your life now but you might see the difference the video what atari classes gives what the trainers at atari classes give we make things simple we make things simple and make sure that people are able to understand why the reason is that if i am giving the training and nobody is able to understand i have seen so many video learning portal online but i am very frustrated why because what the trainer is saying i am not able to grasp the thing then what is the benefit i am trying my best maksud shekha <laughs> to become a good transmitter see transmitter is good only if the reception is okay na? if your mobile there is no signal then what is the meaning of having a service provider mobile service provider is a good provider only if reception is good na? <laughs> okay so if mobile service provider say my signals are okay i am transmitting okay but the complete locality mobile phone signals are weak is the transmitter good no why transmitter can become good only when reception people says are good <laughs> okay so remember i am trying to break the things in a very simple fashion and explain you hopefully you have liked my lectures take care bye bye best of luck sometimes we'll meet in classroom or online